So you built it and you lost it. Tell me about that story. What happened, man? I mean, how'd you lose it? <laughs> so typical, you know, when you make a lot of money very quickly, you tend to blow it because you're not necessarily financially educated. Um, and for example, my case, since my parents didn't really have much, they never really taught me money. Like school never really teach you money anyways. So it's like, what do you do with the money in the first place? It's like, oh, save it. Like why you should save it in the first place? Like, what do you do with that? It's like, oh, save it because you want to buy a PlayStation. Okay, cool. I bought the PlayStation. Now what? So it's like, that. that's like the whole mentality of like, hey, save to then buy whatever you want when it's really not the right mentality. So I go into business like this, make a ton of money. I'm like, okay, I want, I don't know, to rent a Lambo for a two weeks or a full week. It's like $10,000. Cool. Here. You know, so like I did that. Um, very stupid, right? Um, but that was 2018. 2018, I went from like four grand a month to making over 1.2 in like nine months. So it was like very, very rapid growth. And um, back then, I just didn't really know how to handle the money. It's like you, when you come, when you're spending a ton of money and you still are seeing over 100 grand a month, every single month, net profit in the bank, you're like, <laughs> you know, so that's that was my reality back then. Um, I was like 24, 25, I think it was. And um, yeah, so but then 2019 comes and made a lot of bit bad business decisions. The money stopped coming in, expenses kept going. And yeah, and that's basically put everything in the hole over half a million dollars in debt. Um, and it was bad. I almost lost it all. It was it was really, really bad. And then I ended up so because of multiple situations, not just the business side. I ended up working as a cashier at a gas station too. So that was 2019, summer of 2019. Um, nobody. So, 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 so what happened? I mean, what happened to the business? I mean, why did it stop? Did you stop doing the right things or did you stop yeah. working? Did you like, how did the business just evaporate? Yeah. So, you know, the whole serial entrepreneur kind of thing, it's like you have a main thing, you should be focused on the main thing. But then you're like, you know what? I am so good that I could probably start this other business and this other one and this other one. So that's what I did. And uh, that was a mistake, obviously. So because it just divided, divided my focus. And um, yeah, so that's what I what happened in 2019. And then also I got screwed over by a couple of big partnerships um, and stuff like that. There was a big deal. My biggest contract that was signed was like 1.2 mil. That was that year in, in like March or April. Signed contract, everything legal in paper. And the JV like partner that I was in, uh, I didn't sign a contract with him. He just stole the contract and just left. So, yeah. So, and obviously I was the one with all the operations and the hiring, and all the expenses. So I was like, I racked up this insane bill to serve this client and it was bad. So, you know, that, that played a big role in the whole entire, you know, thing, if you will. So, so, so was there, was there like a time where, you were just fucking depressed or what? I mean, was there, oh, yeah. were you, were you scared? Were you like, what the <laughs> fuck did I do? Did you, yeah. I mean, like what was going through your head at that moment? I mean, <laughs> a lot of things. Um, so obviously when, and it, and it happened twice. So like, that was the second time and the biggest time that like, I almost lose it all in 2017. Business went down, but it wasn't that significant. It was like a hundred grand a year. You know, it's like 10 grand a month or eight grand a month, lose it to like three grand a month. So it's like not significant when you're like millions of dollars a year to like, <laughs> like literally like eight grand or seven grand a month. It's bad. So um, that the reality is back then I was depressed. I was in a very bad state. And also you working on cashier, you're like, you, you reach the pinnacle of like the 0.1% of society period, right? And then you're like the king of kings. You're like up there. You're blown. You know. You're you're making a rain, and then you lose it all. And now people see you, and you're like, weren't you the guy that was like, you know, talking all this like whatever? Weren't you the guy that helped all these clients? Weren't you the guy? I'm like, yes, sir. Where can I pump your gas? What what like number five? That's that was me, right? Um, and obviously, a lot of people made fun of that, mocked, etc. So it was a very, very tough time. Um, also because- well, Look, look I, I just want to just jump in real quick and just say that this is like the perfect <laughs> example of what I teach. You know, when, when we talk about wealth on the beach, it really just means, you know, get yourself that free freedom, man, right? And uh, man, I wish that we would have talked I know. back then 
because I'm sure you're way more educated today, but I'm just saying like, I wish we would talk because, you know, what I'm, what I've been like literally for 26 years of my life, man, I've been teaching people that you put on your oxygen mask first and then you go change the world. Then you go buy the Lamborghinis. Then you go buy the whatever you want. Help the parents. Go buy them houses and do all yeah. these things. Because, because what happens is we don't know. I mean, thank God. I was talking to somebody the other day. I'm like, thank God that my business, I've only been a part of one business, and it's always been stable for 26 years. And, and thank God I've never had a kind of a story like that, which is yeah. just crazy, crazy stuff. I mean, very, very, I mean, we're going to talk about how you turned it all around and how you, you freaking richer than rich now. But the truth is, is that, you know, this is a good lesson. I'm glad you're having this conversa conversation uh, yeah. with the audience, because this is really important for people to understand when you start making money, man, you save your money, you invest your money, you get yourself financially free. And that might mean a million dollars, $5 million, $10 million, $20 million, whatever that number is for you. It's got to be a number that says, I am going to stick it in the bank, stick it in an investment plan, uh, account where nobody can touch it. You know, yep. it's going to be safe and solid for my future. And again, invest, try things, risk, do all the things that you want to do. Because I've made, in, I've made bad investments before. I've invested in things that went under, that are gone, that I lost a bunch of money, but they never hurt me long range. You know what I mean? They, they never devastated me to the point of, of, of being in that situation. So uh, I really appreciate you being so open yeah, sure. and authentic and sharing your story because you know it, it's got to be a tough situation to go through that. Um, so you turn it around. So what happens, man? You're a cashier. You're frigging... <laughs> dead, you know, are close to being dead broke, right? And you're like at, at the worst point in your life so far in your young life, because you took a risk, you took a gamble, and it just maybe didn't work out exactly the way you wanted it to. How does that change, man? How'd you turn it around? So, um, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it gets worse than, than just 2018, because um, like, as I'm doing the gas station job, obviously, I'm trying to build a business, you know, I'm trying to like do all these things. I was living in Indiana because I went from the Dominican Republic, moved to Indiana with my parents, and then got moved to Miami. I was living in a friend's, a friend family house in like a little tiny, for lack of a better term, like little plaza or like library with just one bed. That's where I lived. And I was like cashier, super like trying to build a business back up. Now, um, that was end of 2019. My uncle passed away. That was the guy who sent me the toys to, for me to sell in DR, right? He was like my dad. Pass away, super hard. Then next year happens, COVID. I'm working as a cashier in the middle of COVID, by the way. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> and then um, back then, my grandfather then passes away. And my fiance at the time dumps me a week later. So it's like, I'm, I'm literally in the brink of like mental breakdown, suicidal. Like I needed, like I want to get help, like all these different things. Like that was like as bad as it gets. I had to like get medication, like trazodone, like to, to get even sleep because I wasn't sleeping anything. My face was like this, like filled with pimples and stuff like that. It was really, really bad. And then what ended up happening back then, how I would like turn it around, if you will. Um, I have a couple of friends that I knew from the industry because obviously I, I'm already known as like the Instagram guy. Like I have a ton of testimonials and stuff like that. I made a ton of money for other people except myself, which is like the ironic part, right? So they're moving to Miami and they tell me, Hey, like they moved to Port Sour. I don't know if you've been here to Miami and Port Sour, but like one of the most luxurious buildings in Miami it has a freaking car elevator that you can park it like in your living room. It's insane. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, Hey, um, we have an extra bedroom. It's like three is a three bedroom. There were two of them. There was an extra bedroom. You should move it. I'm like, okay. And he's like, but rent is five grand a month. Right. It was 15 grand total divided by three is five grand. I had saved up a total of $15,000 in that year just from the gas station job. That's all the money I had. That's it. Obviously, if you count food and whatever, it's like six, seven grand a month. So I had two months worth of living. My eternal thought was like, it can't get any worse than this, <laughs> right? So screw it. Let's just go, right? Um, might as well just enjoy two months of my life. My birthday, September 27th. I'm going to be here for my birthday. Uh, it was like end of July when that happened. Um, I'm like, cool, whatever. I'm going to just at least be here for my birthday. So at least I enjoy it. 
Um, what ended up happening was I moved in, my environment changed, obviously the network, surrounding myself with the right people, et cetera. Month of August, we did $89,000. So um, in sales, it was like 50 grand cash collected or something like that. So like it just completely changed my life because um, I just went back to doing what I'm good at, right? Which is Instagram. Like I know exactly how to grow, monetize personal brands and just sell a ton. Um, but I couldn't do it when you're working eight, nine hours a day, waking up at 5 a.m. to 3 p.m. every single day in a cashier standing. You have no energy at the end of the day. Like your brain, your creativity is, is gone. So I changed my environment, did that. First month, it, was, it, it went back up. By the end of that year, I think we were doing back $100,000 a month. February 2021, we did like 200. Then March, 250. Then April 300 and so on. it just kept going up um, and growing and yeah so and then the first six months of 2021 we did over 1.1 or something like that um million and that was great I mean like it just it just flipped everything thank you for watching our short clips on Alonzo Academy if you'd like to watch the next short clip click here if you'd like to watch the entire podcast click here